On March 4th and 5th, 2016, a farm safety training event took place at Greenmark Equipment in Hastings, Michigan, organized by the County Farm Bureaus of Ionia, Barrie, and Kent. The focus was on managing farm-related emergencies, which covered a broad range of typical hazards found on farms. I've been uh, working on this little project for about a year and a half, uh, trying to get it all together, and along with uh, Heather Wing and Danny Dreyer from, uh, Heather's from Barry County and Danny is from Ionia County. The biggest thing for me in regards to the first responders is that technology, just like everything else, has changed so dramatically for in the agricultural uh, fields, uh, not only just on the farm, but even off the farm. And a lot of the firefighters have not been exposed, especially some of the younger ones that are just getting into the fire service. So we kind of figured that maybe it was time for a new introduction, reintroduction of farm agriculture to the first responders so that they know what they might be getting into when they come to a, fire, to a call, whether it be for rescue or for fire or whichever the emergency might be. The class for emergency responders, including firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel, was presented by instructors Wayne Bauer and Greg Grobel of Emergency Services Rescue Training Incorporated. With safety and rescue professionals in Pennsylvania and Michigan, their mission is to train emergency responders, as well as farm employees, to be better prepared to respond to and manage farm-related emergencies. The group that's here today, we're talking about all different, 15 to 20 different types of hazards and, and incidents that happen on farms way too frequently. And we want to talk about them, how to deal with them. Over 50% of the, of the fatalities are tractor and machinery and equipment uh, related. Either tractor rollovers, somebody getting wrapped around a PTO shaft, losing a leg in an auger, in a, in a, in a grain bin, that type of thing. And then beyond that, it's quite a smattering of things. Uh, you know, everything from grain entrapments, uh, you know, being struck by objects, electrical, uh, just a variety of things, but over half are machinery equipment related. The afternoon on Friday was spent touring Swiss Lane Dairy in Alto. With 2,200 head of cattle, the emergency responders got a close-up look at dairy cows and situations surrounding handling and rescuing animals. As well, they saw potential equipment hazards, chemical and fuel storage containers, feed and fertilizer facilities, grain drying structures, and the pneumatic gate system in the milking parlor. Ben Galbraith is the MEEP technician for Ionia and Barry counties. He spoke with responders about how MEEP certification helps make farming operations safer. Many of the guys who were in the MEEP program are voluntary firefighters and things of that nature, and they bring their, their um, personal experiences to the program. And, um, inject that into the meat philosophy and what we're teaching farmers. It makes them take a look at their operation from a different point of view, from the day-to-day -day point of view. They look at it from the first responder's point of view. And even from a spill point of view, you don't think about what if that manure tanker tips over or what if um, a fertilizer spreader tips over in the field. Saturday's event back at Greenmark Equipment was focused around family safety on the farm. Kids were shown the proper use of fire extinguishers, along with tips for being safe on ATVs, all in effort to reduce the 12 to 15 percent of fatalities on farms experienced by youth under the age of 18. You can learn more about Emergency Services Rescue Training Incorporated, the different programs and modules they offer, along with funding options available to host your own event at esrtagrescue.org.